Hi, I'm Scott Harvey, and Molly and I are in the lab today, and we're running alcohols. And so we're going to show you how to run an alcohol on the wine. Uh, the machine that we use is called an ebulliometer, and, uh, and it's made in France. Um, there's one also that's made in Italy. There's two different types. There's an electric one, which is much easier to use, and then there's the old type, which I've been using for years and years and years. I'm going to pull up the old type here. This is the old type of abuliometer um, that we used to use. This is well used. You can tell I, I put stuff on it to keep it from tipping over and so forth. Um, but anyway, we'll set it aside. So the, it works off of barometric pressure. And barometric pressure changes all the time, depending on whether a storm is coming in or not. And so we first have to boil water uh, in the unit. And you put, you put it, uh, the, the uh, water in through the top here. And uh, we've already got some in here ready to run. You have cold water running through these tubes in the bottom and out the top that's connected through the sink, actually. Because uh, it, 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 it condenses um, your sample so you don't lose your alcohol as, as you're boiling it. Uh, but we'll first turn it on and we'll boil the water. Because water will boil at different temperatures depending on barometric pressure. And the more alcohol there is in the wine, the lower the boiling point. So we can directly, by knowing the boiling point of water at, at at the, at the time you run your alcohol, then you can, the d difference between the two temperatures tells you how much alcohol is in the wine. So uh, we're going to come back after this is boiling and uh, explain the rest of it.
Okay. Uh, as you can see, now the ebuliometer is boiling fairly rapidly. Uh, we have a little thermometer in here. You can set it for, uh, it's set for Celsius. Um, you can change it if you want. But, uh, and it's reading 99.1 degrees Celsius. So water is boiling at 99.1 degrees. So then we go to this little thing that comes with the ebuliometer. And we set at zero, th this is alcohol outside here, and this is boiling point on the inside. See these, these two things spin. And this morning I set it at 99.2, and now it's gone down to 99.1. So I'm, I've got to reset this to 0.1. You can see how I'm turning it there. So we have 99.1 at zero. So now we uh, now we will turn off our buleometer. We double check it. It's still 99.1. We'll drain it, and then we're going to run our wine. So I'm going to run a little wine through the unit to rinse out the water. Okay, now I'll grab the hose here and fill it till it's running and then we'll clamp it off. And then we're going to fill it up to the line here with the wine sample. This is a Barbera from Linstead Vineyard in Amador County, 2018. And there we are at the line. So now we're going to turn it back on and wait for that to boil. And when that happens, we'll come back.
Hi, we're back. As you can see, the ebulliometer, the wine sample, is boiling in there now. And uh, we're watching the temperature gauge. You watch it, and when it stops going up uh, in temperature, then you know you're at the boiling point. So it's boiling at 88.9 degrees Celsius. So we go back to our wheel here, and we look for 88. We go up to... 0.9, 88.9 on this smaller wheel, and we read across to the bigger wheel, this outside wheel, and 88.9 correlates to 15.3. So we, what we have in here is a 15.3 alcohol in this sample of this Barbera. And uh, if, if the boiling point was, was higher, we would have turned the wheel a little this way, and 1588.9 then would have been a little higher alcohol and so forth. So that's so this is very important that this stays calibrated at the boiling point of water. Um, so we put that we write that into our records and go from there.